Welcome back, Shaggers. I know it's been a minute between uploads, but we're back. We've got Bodie just there, Jimmy Primal, and today we're just in the mangroves. Jimmy Primal in the mangroves all day without food. Let me just show you something psycho right here. Hard to see, but all of those little spots out there, there'd be fucking 50 of them. They're all crab pots. <laughs> Fucking crab pots everywhere. Washed out from the heavy rain southeast Queensland's had over the last couple of weeks. And all these people will probably be screaming, Oh, fucking pot thieves, fucking, fucking pot thieves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There'd be at least 20 out there. Probably all full of muddies. But I'm not the type of guy to go check them. Anyway, welcome back. Thanks for viewing. Let's see what carnage we can come up with today. The plan is either a feed of fish or a feed of mud crab. Get out of here before this hectic storm rolls in um, this afternoon and get the young fella out safe. That's all that matters. Survival challenge. Keep the boys safe. Keep the boy fed. We've got a little bit of water and lures. That's all we've got. Catch ya. I'm just flicking this little MD splash pawn around. Um, Bodie's got one as well, a little bit bigger. That sun's just starting to poke its head over now. You can see there's heaps of action on the surface all around here. You even see the prawns skipping, like over there right now. But we haven't had any hookups. It'd be good to get a flatty off the top. That would be good. Something followed that then. How's that sunrise? There's not much of a channel here, I reckon we can walk around Get deep in those mangroves, I don't think people go in there We're going in there We're going right in there Little flatties get up on these flats If you're lucky you can pick them up on, on surface lures it's so shallow. Look at the little toadies. Seriously, only like two inches deep here. Look at that. You. What the hell have we got here? How does one crab pot catch so many beer bottles? <laughs> Madness. What have you got here? Fiddle crab. Oh, we've got a little bit of a bit of power in that big claw. Yeah, they just use that to scavenge around and put shit in their mouth. Defend themselves. Probably look a lot more nasty than what they are. Oh, fiddler. That one's in there. 
You can see how its footprints are covered all that from this side at least. There might be. I'll bet. What the fuck? Yes. Yeah, well, we're a couple of hours into it. We've had no fish and we've had no crabs. It's starting to get hotter than a junkie's teaspoon out here and we're <coughs> sweating. So we're going to keep moving. We're going to follow this creek all the way to the very end of it and then we're going to come back down the other side of the creek. So I reckon it's probably 3-4k creek, so it's an 8k walk. That makes sense, eh? So, yeah, I reckon we're probably a k into it. Because we keep stopping and checking and looking at things, looking for crab pots, look, catching fiddler crabs and losing lures. Look at all these muddy holes. Just a little one. There's, oh, there's a big one up here. They're deep though, and they're full of roots. Full of roots ain't a bad thing. All these mangroves have got like a sub-level. All these underwater cavities. That's all hollow under there. Held up by the roots, and the water flows underneath creates these drains little mangrove jack feeding grounds hopefully we get a jack that'd be nice wouldn't it oh what have we got here surfboard <clears throat> What have we got here? Looks like a stand-up paddleboard or something. Old mattress. Oh, it's a boat cushion. Yo. There's like a jack in here. It keeps just ripping me off. Yo, boat cushion. Let's see what's underneath it, eh? Oh, fuck, it's heavy. Oh. Fuck all under it. Well, that's a massive brim. Yeah! Yeah, boy! My boy! Oh, that's a good brim. That's our lunch. Yeah! 
Yeah, that sounds lunch, boy. Father's not feeding the son, son's feeding the father. There we go, look at that, nice and muddy, full of flavour. Got him on a crab, eh? Mm-hmm. Look at that, big. Oh, it's a good little cut, did he? That's not what's been taking it the whole time. Do you want to try to get another one? Mm -hmm. That's not what's been taking it the whole time. That one looks felt pretty Have a look at that sweat. That's our lunch. I'm gonna try to catch another one. That's lunch. But we're gonna try to catch another one so we can make it a feast. Ooh. Feel the hole. Did you feel him? No, nah, I can feel the whole thing he's not in there. There's a nice little sort of one. Male? Yep. Yeah, the little male. Little baby buck. And then I stepped on the dog. Alright, I let him go. <clears throat> He's just sitting there. A stinky mud crab. Maybe. Found some big muddy holes here. Got that one there. Down that next to it, so there's probably been a big battle of the alpha males. Fuck, that stinks. And there's another one here. Looks 
like the what we've got here. Oh, there's a big dead muddy shell. That's a shame. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got one here. Oh. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, that's it. Oh. Well, there you go. Pulled one out. Missing a claw. But he had one claw on him. I grabbed him by it. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, he's only got one claw and he, he dropped it as I was pulling him out. Probably what that other stinky claw was that we found before. Anyway, he's big enough for sure. We'll cook him up with our brim. Oh, you still don't want that to bite you. I reckon I still have a bit of power in it. Well, there's one. There's two more holes over here. We'll go check. All right, you video on. Jenny, that's a Jenny that one. Next mate. Oh. That's a little Jenny that one. We'll let this one go. Little female, she's not carrying eggs at the moment. She's down in that little muddy hole. That's a little hole. Yeah, aren't they awesome? Starting to find them right up the end of this skinny water. Not, there's a lot of holes at the front, but hard to get to. Oh, this one can go back. Got a suspected mud crab hole. That's a typical mud crab hole. Mud crab hole out on the flats. You can see he's been digging. The water's a bit murky in there. It's actually a pretty deep hole. Deeper than I thought. A little buck he's probably a bit small he's definitely a bit small so we'll let this one go he's only a little baby one is it a buck let me just check his yeah yeah He can go back in his little home. Little fella. There you go, mate. 
that was a cool little crab out here on the flats. You can see it from a mile away. And he wasn't that deep either, but he thought he had open space. Anyway, when you're catching mud crabs, when you want to know if they've got meat in their uh, nippers or not, you can give them a little pinch there. And if they're soft like that, they're normally empty or low in meat. You want the ones that are rock hard. That one there, no good. I'm gonna leave that one there for the puffer fish. Um, let's go make a fire, cook up the crab and the brim that we've got, because it's lunchtime and we're hungry and we're depleted and we've got no nutrients in it because we're sweating it out. Let's go eat. Okay, we walked all the way up to the end of this creek. Real skinny water there. We think we can cross. We think we can get across. I'm going first. Then I'll send for Bodie. Okay, you ready? It's really deep. You'll be right. Actually strong. Okay, success. We're on the right side of the river now. Mud crabs and mullets. Mud crabs and mullets. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Oh! Oh! Oh, you fucking dog! That wasn't part of the script. Oh, you fucking little fucking ball touching dickweed. Oh. Fuck him. Fuck, he got me the bastard. The goddamn bastard. Fucking took the enemy finger off the fucking dog. Wasn't expecting that. Showing off. Showing the mullet off. Next thing, bang. He's fucking on me. Fuck him. Guess what we're going to do? Let's find somewhere dry because everything is absolutely saturated. We're going to find a bit of shelter. Make a little fire. Have a drink of water, cook up our brim, cook up our uh, one clawed mud crab, and that'll be our lunch. And then we'll go for a little fish in the Arvo, and that'll be our day. Jimmy Primal and Bodie in the mangroves. Hope you're enjoying. Oh, nice, Bodie. Oh, he's a beauty. awesome 
Whoa. Bring him too. Sick. Was he just sitting over there, was he? Mm. Do you think he was dead? They played dead, yeah. eh? <coughs> I'm not letting him bite my finger. Well done, man. Turn him around. Look at that. That's an absolute weapon. Nice work. Keep him. Hmm. Left to carry him though. Is it right to carry him? Thanks, We're just going to make a little fire, cook up the crab and brim. The tide's coming up, so we're running out of uh, mangrove to hang around in. Um, we've probably only got another hour. We've got food. We have a little bit of water. Bodie caught a monster crab on the way back to this high spot. He caught two brim. I caught a handful of little crabs. One keeper with one claw. And that's what we're going to have for lunch. Thanks for watching. So we've just got the claws, claws smoking on there, little flames. This big guy's still alive, we don't have any ice to put him on. So we're just going to knock him on the head. Quick and painless, and on he goes. Welcome to Uncut Kitchen. I'm Blake Melbourne. Ooh. Brim, brim, brimbo. Get a brim into ya. <laughs> nah, shout out to my man Blake. You doing good things over there. Got a couple more subscribers than me. He's doing all right. Check him out. Uncut Kitchen, Blake Melbourne. Oh, that is so good. Look at all that meat. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. A day in the mangroves of Jimmy Primal and my boy Bodie. We've got a big feed of muddies. We've got a nice brimbo there. We're going to stay cook all that up have a feed the tides coming in quick so we don't have long if you enjoyed that please subscribe right here in the middle more catch and cooks right here click on the link and and just for fucking general jimmy primal shit click on that one right there thanks again appreciate it much love remember get albie mangled